Good morning from the desert. It is safe to say we are no longer in the city of San Diego. And while it was so fun exploring and having amenities so close by, we are so not city people. And so we opted to come out here to the desert where the temperatures are amazing almost all day and all year round. And we're just so excited to be out here in the Anza Borrego area. Actually, Anza Borrego State Park is the largest state park in California. And while we're not actually camping in the state park, we are gonna explore a little bit more because we did come here earlier this year. And since we were on the move, we kind of had to breeze through, but we're just so excited to take our travels at a slower pace and just explore a little bit more. wanted to try this coffee it's the death wish coffee and I wanted to try it because it says it's the world's strongest and this is the blueberry and vanilla flavor and we tried this yesterday and it's definitely really good and a lot stronger than normal coffee not quite sure it's the world's strongest but it's probably just how I brewed it when you open it it makes the entire camper smell like a blueberry pie it smells so good There's nothing like coffee with a beautiful view. Now that we've had some coffee before we get our day really started, we wanna get a first coat of paint on this white right here that goes around. We actually installed a new fridge back in April of 2022 when we went to Baja and we had to make a new framing for it and or frame around it and we've never actually finished it. So we found this gray paint for $2 at Home Depot. It doesn't quite match the white or actually at Lowe's but it doesn't quite actually match the white because it's gray, but for $2, we figured it's a lot better to just buy a little thing like this and then one of these little guys and we are going to get at least the first coat on here and then work out a little bit, put a second coat on and then get our day started. Got it all taped up. It's time for the first layer of paint. The first coat starts now. Ooh, that looks pretty nice, but it kind of matches the fridge, which we kind of assumed. The first layer of paint is on, and all we got was this little roller. We wanted to get a little paintbrush, but for some reason there wasn't one, or I don't know. We didn't end up getting one. So it was fine going around the whole thing until you got to some of the corners. So I ended up actually just taking a piece of paper towel, dipping it in the paint, and getting it to the top. So definitely not a 10 out of 10 job, but I think it worked. And while it dries, we're going to get a little workout in, and then I'll come back and put the second layer on. And I don't know, so far I like how the color looks. It's very similar to the fridge which is what I was expecting but if we wanted to buy a little thing of white paint it was kind of expensive and we saw this gray one on sale for two dollars so we're like you know what I think it's gonna be perfect and I think it's gonna look really good That's what I Oh my god. <laughs> it's always a challenge to get them on their leashes. They never want to, but for the desert, it makes the most sense because yesterday we saw a huge tarantula and there are rattlesnakes and cactus in the area. So if we're not actively keeping an eye on them, we have to put them on these 15 or 20 foot long leashes just so they don't get themselves into trouble. Come here. Come on. Good boys. Good boys. This is our very simple workout setup. We have these Bowflex dumbbells and then these bands. These are from Amazon, but we bought these dumbbells when we were down in Baja last year. We spent less than half of the retail price. They're around 400 brand new, but we spent 155 USD and it makes sense because it's missing a couple pieces. And so this dumbbell is missing one and this one's missing two. And after further examination, we actually found out a couple months ago that this set and this set, they're both Bowflex, but they must be different models because the base plate is different, but it doesn't really matter. When they're on 50 pounds, they're on 50 pounds. When they're on 20 pounds, they're both 20 pounds. So there's only a few weights that they both can't do, but Ashley usually uses the one that could do the ones that the weight that she needs, and then I'll use the one that I need. So it works out perfectly, and for how cheap it was, 
the lever. Our workout is complete. We got a nice little workout in and now I'm getting ready to go inside and do the second coat of paint. But oh my goodness, it is so hot and I was thinking it was hot just because we're working out. And then when I actually check the temperature, it's getting up to 80 degrees today and it's currently like 75, which I think might be the hottest temperature we've seen all year besides when we flew back to Florida. It was pretty warm then too. But on one hand, it's super nice to be able to be outside and in the heat and in a tank top and not a puffer or a jacket. But on the other hand, it's like, whew, just gets you. The second coat of paint is finished. So while that's drying, I'm going to do all these dishes back here and make us some lunch. The tape, when we pulled it off, did pull off a tiny couple little pieces, but we'll be able to fix it when we get a brush. And even with the pieces pulled off, it still looks 100% better than before. And I kind of like how the gray matches the fridge. I didn't think I liked it at first, but I'm telling you, for seven bucks, I do like it. Come on. Come on, Oreo. Up. Good boy. You guys ready to go? As we leave our spot, there are all these animal sculptures in Borrego Springs. There are actually over 130 of them. And I think if I'm counting correctly, there's about seven, eight, maybe nine, just where we stayed last night. And there's a bunch of them around town. So we're gonna go see if we could find any more. But how wild is that to just be driving by in the middle of the desert and there are sculptures of animals that were here many years ago. Who knows, that's the legend, but it's pretty cool to see. I'm walking under one of the sculptures right now and you can just tell how large it is. As we said, there are over 130 of these sculptures, and I think that we counted around 30 are the ones that we saw. If we were gonna go around and see them all, it would probably take a while, but it's very cool to come out here and explore. But I think before finding a new campsite for the night, we're gonna go do a hiking trail before it gets dark in about an hour. The hike we're doing is called the slot and it takes you to this little slot canyon that just looks so beautiful and the sun just sets so fast out here i think we only have about 45 minutes till it sets so we're gonna get down there get in the slot check it out head back to the car and find somewhere to camp for the night walking through this canyon is so cool. There are some areas that are really, really tight, like a tight little slot canyon, and then it opens up and you can see more. And a wild thing that we just noticed is, is when you get close to some of the rocks, it's actually really warm. It's like it's holding in the heat from the day, but it's really cool. It's starting to get a little bit dark, so I don't think we'll go too much further, but it is really cool to explore. We almost turned back a couple times now because it really is getting dark, but every time we almost turn around, it just keeps getting better and better. Look how crazy this is. I just have never seen anything like this. I mean, we've done lots of slot canyons, but this one just keeps going and going and going, whereas a lot of the other ones we've done have been pretty short. You're in and out, and this one just seems like it goes on forever. 
That trail was so awesome. We really enjoyed it. I wish we left a little bit more time to do the whole trail, but we got busy with looking at all those sculptures. This area is just super interesting and we love coming here and exploring a little bit more every time we come. But for the rest of the year, we're just continuing to take it slow and enjoy our travels. And we really don't know where we're gonna be in the next video. Maybe we'll stick around a little bit longer. Maybe we'll move on, I'm not really sure. But if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you aren't already so that you don't miss any videos from us and thank you so much for watching.